Here we have the Rapid 101 electric stapler and I'll show you how to change the staple head uh, sometimes a little bit easier to watch a video than to follow instructions when we supply the new staple heads here at Childers Red Graphics you will receive a sheet on how to do it but um, just in case it might be easier just to watch the video uh, the Rapid 101 stapler has been around for many years now there's thousands still in use although it has been superseded by the newer 106 stapler that we have just next door to it you can see tables almost identical but the new 106 fires from above and it's a much gentler softer action um, slimline design etc so it's the new improved version uh, just for reference but back to the 101 stapler the staple heads don't last forever uh, due to wear and tear etc or a common cause of the staple head damage is people using soft uh, office staples that are designed for a hand stapling um, in the staple head and they will crumple up and jam up uh, quite often you will find a staple head completely jammed where people just keep, keep hitting the foot switch and staples fire down and down and down until it's more and more damaged they won't come out they'll just jam up even more in there if the staple head doesn't open simply by the staple drawer thing there Quite often this plunger here you can see about a fingers gap that will be in that position there the plunger is down and you can't then get the drawer open you have to use your thumb and push push the plunger up to be able to open the drawer but to actually change it it's fairly simple on these ones four mil allen key we've got two allen key bolts under the table there the camera can see don't have to take the bolts right out, which is another common mistake people make. We just want to undo them, you know, one or two turns, and you'll see why you don't have to take the Allen bolt completely out. What we can do is do wiggle it out, just pull the backstop forward a little bit, and what we're going to do is just flip, flip that over. It's a little bit fiddly to see with the camera there, but we're going to flip it back on itself and round. And we still have the bolts intact because they're actually slotted there, so we don't have to undo them completely. And I can, you can see there, if it's stuck down in that position, you cannot get that drawer open because the plunger is in. And that's a common thing when staples are jammed inside. So make sure you do use the 666, 667s or 668 staples. Uh, staple heads come, I have another one here just under it a couple of turns. To get it back in, it's kind of an opposite operation. We want to come in, just lift this up over the backstop and we're just going to drop it down. Get it down below, hold one finger holding that up. And we just want to wiggle it in there. What you would have with your machine when you've got the machine is one of these a little staple setup tool and that inserts where the staples would come out you push that in close the drawer and what we're going to do that gets the position just right over the anvil if you don't have this staple setup tool you can visually do it just by visually getting the staple head over the anvil it generally in my experience, it takes you two or three goes to get it correct anyway, as we'll see after we've locked this up. You very rarely get it right first go. I won't lock this up too tight to start with. Oop. Just lock it up to there. Open the drawer again to remove that staple set up tool, just put a few staples in, power on, power on and we'll just try a few staples, you can see there it's not quite right there's one that didn't go there, that leg, right hand leg is slightly longer than the left leg there as I said, you can't get it right first time. Power off. We'll just take the staples out. Just 
just undo it slightly. And we'll just have another go. May take you two or three goes to get this exactly right till you're happy to as a perfect staple and then you're good to go. We'll try again, power on, power on, close the lid and just see. Just a few staples to check and yes much better this time so we're good to go. Uh, I will put a link if you click on the arrow below this video in the down arrow we'll put a link on there for a link to the staples if you want to buy staples or the staple head um, uh, or the new staplers we'll put a link to the new staplers as well if you have any questions yeah please do get in touch by phone or email to us here at Chilvers Rib Graphics and thanks for watching